All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Invincible Season 2, Episode 3. In the last episode, uh, kind of a multi multitude of things happened. Um, we had uh, Eve, who was trying to do better for the community, obviously fix up the places in Chicago that were destroyed by Omni-Man. Um, she had really good intentions. Obviously, she did help in some way, but obviously, like the woman in the show said, like cutting through the red tape is helpful but there are rules and obviously some things have to be done for certain reasons like in this case she tried to build a park and uh, the ground wasn't up to it and it kind of caved in so yeah good intentions but you can't always bend the rules like that um which of course it's it's not E's fault but like it makes sense that some some things just wouldn't work out for her even though her power is amazing um we also had Mark, uh, who, upon Cecil's request, had to take a trip to Atlantis. I don't actually know. I can't remember if they actually call it Atlantis in the show. I don't think they do, but hey-ho. Um, who, yeah, when he got there, he had to do a trial by combat. Uh, he had to fight a deep undersea monster. That went wrong. Um, he ended up saving the day, and now things are cool with the Atlanteans. During the fight, Cecil took notice of the fact that a certain kind of sound that was emitted from the monster um, kind of took or like kind of disabled Mark for a second or he definitely didn't like it. Uh, it did make him weaker in some way. So I'm wondering if that is the f that is kind of would be maybe used in the future if they ha have mixed feelings that Mark might kind of change sides or maybe they will try and use it purely against Omni-Man if he ever decided to come back or maybe more Viltrumites. I don't know possible um i'm sure cecil trusts mark but you know maybe not trust the rest of the race um and yeah um other than that's just uh, odd bits here and there mark and co graduated and um end of the episode was mark and his mom just having a really well needed breakdown really like a cry just being there for each other mark being there for his mom especially uh, which was needed, and honestly, he should be there for his mom more often, um, which I understand is hard for him at the moment, but you know. Anyway, very much looking forward to this episode, so as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well, and let's go into this episode right now. I guess this is it. Time to push my baby bird out of the nest. Oh, is he going away to college? Aw. You're going to be okay, right? Where's he going to college? And so... Tough. Oh, has he been like a year now since the Omni-Man yeah. incident? Okay. I mean Mark Grayson, my only son. Nice. My he needs to grow as a human as well, as a, just my as much as a superhero. Okay, okay. And don't do drugs. Uh, would they even work on Yeah, him? I was literally just going to say, would they work on him? <laughs> That's what I was saying like in the last episode where he's drinking alcohol, like would that even work on him? Although imagine Mark on drugs. Oh my god, that would probably be terrifying. Oh, his mom's such a good person. Oh, is this the um, card that was it Olga gave her? I think. Does that look crooked to you? <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like Doctor Strange. I have a I, on the other is hand, William going to the, the same uh, college as him then? Actually, actually, have to attempt game. Maybe it'll just make you look better by comparison. Oh, and they're sharing a room together. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> Magnum Pie. <laughs> Lady Yaya. Oh my God. Bro has got a nice, de nicely decorated room, though. Not gonna That's lie, okay. uh, his side of the room, this. anyway. It means go eat a taco or fly to Spain. Fly to Spain. <laughs> but don't come in until the sack. Nice is setting boundaries. And I will do the same for you. Toys. Uh, they're collectibles. <laughs> oh, Mark. You have to act cool or like throw away all your toys and or collectibles and whatever. Nah, don't throw them away. At least sell them. You've got a girlfriend. It's not like you have to impress anyone. Sorry, buddy. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, keep that one. <laughs> Who has sex on the Already? Of Jesus Christ, know. William. Like right now? I mean, we could. I'm guessing he, okay. they haven't done it um, yet. Wait, you don't have like super sperm or something, do you? Well, not, yeah. <laughs> it seems normal. Not that I would. I, I think it's fine. I mean, if you have a child, it's probably gonna be a super child. <laughs> And he wouldn't accidentally crush me or something. That's also what I'd be thinking of. Someone is going to interrupt this. Turn off the 
lights first. <laughs> he's, How'd you do that? he's so quick. Superpowers, baby. And so, dear audience, perhaps it's time to give. Yeah, the narrator. <laughs> and turn our attention to the stars in this missive, this machination. What? The Unopens had achieved harmony with nature. Oh, it's the, the uh, character that Seth Rogen plays. Or, well, like, the, his race, anyway. A dark force invaded, you know, oh, God. Was it Omni-Man's people? In a yep. Of course it was. The died, the ones that lived, quickly learned the name. Viltrumites. Viltrumite. They actually fought the Viltrumites? Did they win? Unfortunately, they still oh, I guess not. They really tried, though. Oh my god. Scourge of the galaxy. And we stand united against it. This sounds like Optimus Prime. Is it the we same voice actor? Currently devising a weapon to stop them. We'd be happy to join your coalition. That his voice actor sounds Arthur familiar as well. They all seem to have abnormalities. Not promising. Hill Allen. Allen, that's him. <laughs> he was the first and only success fighter the universe had ever known. Even before a what a great name, Alan. Just Alan. Found who didn't fall to his might. Alan still couldn't match even a single Viltrumite. Jeez, man, that sucks. The program was considered a failure. His mistake led him to Mark Grayson. Yeah, a Viltrumite you can actually trust. Viltrumite sympathetic to the coalition cause to change the. That's cool. Learning more about Alan. Seems like a fun character. Alan. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, they, they that that was a good way to do that. I love Alan's character already. He's just icing on the cake that he's Seth Rogen as well. Because it was the wrong planet you already found before. Sure, Thank you. Thank you for that. It's terrified the sector. Other planets we were talking to cut all communities. Wait, the uh, the planet joined the coalition, or did the Viltrumites? I assume the planet they attacked. I found us one. And he's only half Viltrumite. Oh, that's um, I know, I know. the same race as the dude that they fought in the first season. The lion dude. Viltrumite against Viltrumite. I love how this is completely that unheard is of. Happened since the Great Purge. Mark isn't like other. Yeah, you can definitely trust Mark. He just wants to protect his world. Could they not like use Mark's DNA to like help? Enhance their own beings, maybe. Stop. That is not his deal. This guy's got such a majestic voice. This is definitely the voice actor for Optimus Prime. As a son defies his father, these are weaknesses. I need to hear this guy read an audiobook or something. The first we found, and ones we must learn to exploit. Can you just say all spark, please? Perhaps they all just gotta meet Mark and realize what he's about. I thought Viltrumites believed in racial purity. Hmm. See, that's a good question. That is a good question. That instead of shouting at me. In the coalition. It's as if the Viltrumites had knowledge. Does that mean there might be a spy in the coalition? Oh shit. You want if someone's betrayed us. This this Fadius guy kind of looks like a Viltrumite. Continue to prove like yourself kind of human. The color scheme as well. Asset. Hey Vorg. Hey little buddy. Is this, is this supposed to be a cat? Yeah, the girl from the council? Did you miss me? Is he his girlfriend or something? I missed you. Oh, let's see if that's true. Am I tripping or does she kind of look like Amber? Like her facial features? Oh, Tentacles. I see. Uh, no, let's not do that then. Wait, they haven't... They didn't use protection? Okay, we can't go anywhere in this story right now. We need to go to someone else. Here we find the Unopen feline. Yeah, her meal's eating another meal. What the fuck? That Chica from FNAF. No matter how far I travel to let Like she really kind of looks like an alien version of Amber. There's hundreds of. Am I the only one saying this? Look, I'm not really supposed to. Uh... Okay, okay. Oh, but what if she's the traitor? Don't tell her, fuck man. This thing's there's a mole supposed to. What the fuck? Is that a Viltrumite? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? Oh, <gasps> shit. Two of them. 
Three of them? Oh, nah. I mean, not technically a question. If <laughs> He's so annoying. Bro. Which one was he again? You Pyclops all kind of look the same to me. Alan, you're an insane man. Oh. God, please don't, don't let them kill this man. The sad music playing? Nah, bro. Bro, this is fucked up. They jumping him in front of his girl. Bro, his eye! What the fuck? Bro. No way they just killed this man. Bro, say it ain't so. Say, it's, uh, Tell me this didn't actually happen, or tell me there's a way to help him recover. I don't know. He's still, he's still alive somehow. Alien medicine go crazy. So who's the mole? It's got to be one of these two. I'm thinking because they didn't know all of the information. Like, they were asking, did the Viltrumite of Earth really, like, disappear and have an heir? I assume that maybe it's not someone that was in the room. Like, maybe it's not him. Maybe it could be his girlfriend. Because I don't think she... She wasn't in the room, right? Was she in the room? I don't think she was. Um, I don't know. I don't know why if he was the mole, I don't know why he wouldn't sell them everything. I don't know. Hmm. Curious. You should get some rest. Go. I will watch over him. Oh, maybe it was him. I don't know. Oh, nah. Don't let him die. No. Come on. What? That was like 10 minutes, hello? The, the episode's on, and there's like another half to the episode. What the fuck? Was that just Alan the alien part of the episode? Uh, the second one? Why do you need to talk about it? Just let it go. Why do you have to be so immature? You cheated on me with the immortal. Y'all weren't a thing. That's what you think happened? You were cheating on Eve with me first. That's true. Okay, but that worked out in your favor. Duplicates and I have lived. We are probably the same age. Are, are you sure about that? Is that how that works? Okay. No, Rex. That's a crap excuse from Duplicate, not gonna lie. Is that news? The Immortal's the only person I've ever met who's died as many times as I have. Damn. Maybe you don't understand that? Yeah, that's a, ma that's a wild feeling. Must be. He gets it. So please, fuck the fuck off already. Fuck the fuck off, yeah. Bag. What, uh, at least I'm not a cheater. But you literally are. <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up, Rex. Uh, I'm not now. Once a cheater, bro. Oh, hello, chum. This guy's still here. Where are you from? Because <laughs> it's not from Earth. This guy. Well, this has been about as much fun as eating a light bulb. Th why is nobody questioning this? Is he seeing what reactions he gets from his brain when he listens to music? Hey Mozart, what's all this? Oh yeah, it is. Lol. You're gonna make me ask, aren't you? It's weird that this kid's gonna grow up to look like Rex. Satisfied with my performance against the giant. Feeling fear, doesn't it? It's weird that this girl's getting younger and younger every time she uses her power. Unacceptable. Strong suit. No, Wait, I just realized, is she the same voice actor that voices Mandy in Room Adventures? She sounds like her. Serves no real purpose for someone like for me. someone like you. You're a human now, dude. But I guess you'll find out. The well, you're a normal way. human now. Fun next time. True. If you like, if you fall off a cliff and you're like falling to your death, your brain is supposed to like switch off <laughs> because you're about to hit the bottom. What if that just didn't happen? That'd be. S Amanda. I guess it wouldn't be scary if you switched off a sphere. Will you go to a movie with me? <laughs> nice. I want to see what his brain was doing. Damn. It feels like vertigo. When the thought of her takes me by surprise in the middle of the day, it's like... Is this superhero therapy? Reminds me of Endgame. Grab onto something, but there's nothing to grab. Oh, spouses of superheroes. Okay. My son, he was such a fussy baby. A <laughs> fussy baby. How old is he now? Practically a man. He is. So I wonder if these are all spouses of superheroes, if their kids have powers as well. This is exactly what she needed. Basically, like, so, um, I mean, a support group, not really therapy, but it's therapy in a way. I think you covered it. Great. Have a seat. I'm actually so happy that Hi, she's everybody. found a place like this. Oh, she's missing her baby. Don't 
take this the wrong way, but there's a bar down the street. Some of us like to go to. This, this guy trying to find <laughs> a relationship yeah, in I like a support it's, group. It's, it Dumb. Like neither. Sure. I, I mean, yeah. Sense. All she's got is Mark. It's, I wouldn't uh, be. I'm not surprised she's being a mom about her. The best ones are. She needs this. Never watched films, but no, I've never attended one. Of course he hasn't. Have you seen what he, he's I looked like? Had more. We're already seeing a horror movie tonight. Damn, bro. That sucks. Uh, two tickets for Midnight Slaughter. You, you are kids. You can't go. Yeah, just found some random what? woman on the street. You want to do a DNA test now? What other normal stuff haven't you done? <laughs> you better just say random things to him, see if he's done it. This is supposed to be appetizing? This is going to have your stomach in bits. Food through his butt. Is it appetizing now? It might be nice, but his body is probably like, what the I hell is this? Good for me, but... Uh, more fries, please. Yeah. Wait, calling a waiter at a <laughs> McDonald's, basically. Oh my god, imagine. Problem is, where would I go? Somewhere new. So much of it still... I just realized not everybody in this support group is going to have the same problem as Debbie. Definitely not. You can still be angry. That's okay. God knows I am. Thanks. I wonder who his wife was. It's good to talk with someone who understands. I'm gone nearly a year, and I still Alana? Cross the bed for her. Wait. Alana? You mean? Is that one of the guardians? She was the green ghost. Oh shit! That's why we saw her in the at the start of the episode. Not that it matters now. Since oh my! She got murdered by that. God, ace. this is bad. Yeah, that was my ex-husband. No, she had a partner. I know he'd probably be angry at first, but it's not her fault. I want all the details. Gross, no. No, wait, no. <laughs> I wish. I must have forgotten to take it off after my demonstration. Yeah, you, you had sex with no one? I thought, super flattered. But I'm kind of still screwed up about what happened to oh, Rick. Oh, I remember Rick. Damn, that I sucks. I would be here at Upstate together. I know. Sorry, I wasn't trying to make you feel bad. No. At least he's recovering, though. That's somebody ready for round two. Who the hell is this going to be? Numbers. I bet you did. Mark Grayson? Who? Is it like an alien or something? <laughs> Who is it? Mark Grayson. What the fuck? Your help. Why would you instantly... Close the door. Close the door. What the hell is happening? I thought this was like a made-up superhero in his world. In your dimension, yes. Oh, from another dimension. Wow, okay. Does nobody see this? Mark, can you chill and let this guy speak? Look at him, he's just a sad little dog. Oh wait, who the hell is it? I'm sorry. My disguise was meant to design. Wow, okay. Appeared as something you loved. I'm not a threat. The journey to your world has taken me most of my life. What? May I rise? My questions. Be nice to this guy. He doesn't sound like a threat. You are the only one who can save our people from the meteor showers destroying our world. A meteor showers? Okay. It's not Viltrumites then. Um New Walzot came all the way here. Yeah, bro. How many Bug people are in danger. All of them. How many is that? <laughs> oh, 42 billion. 42 billion. Mark, you gotta go. We believe in you, Mark Grayson. How long is it gonna take to get back? Wait, maybe it's because he's a bug, he has a shorter lifespan. That's what he means by most of his life. You work for me here on Earth. Yeah, well, he, <laughs> he Look, wants I'll to get around, bro. Because of me, Cecil. And this is an order. Do not go. He's gonna go. <laughs> Unlucky, Cecil. I need to listen to myself before I listen to you. Your father felt the same way. This might be bad, though. Like, going out into the universe, he might, like... Well, he I'm might meet some people. Back. God damn it, Mark. Taking a month off the first... The first, like, month of... In college, though. You're a good human, I don't know if that, that's gonna go well. I'm invincible. So far. So far, like, yeah. You have to call me invincible. I have to go away for a few weeks. To space again? Like, right now? Yeah, like right now. This is the deal, and I'm good with it. Go. Good. I'm glad Amber's changed about this kind of thing since season one. Always. 
Amber, you should have given like given her a hug or given her yeah. a kiss or something before you go. I love you. Hey, how long until we get to Thraxa? Approximately six of your Earth days. Six straight days. <sighs> Space. Have you got food? Also, the ship can't go any faster. He's gone. Because, oh shit. Because he murdered Alana and the other guardians. And oh almost killed boy. My son too. The last twenty years of my life have been a lie. <laughs> I really hope he's like not awful to her about this. And move on, but you shouldn't come back to the group. Bro, are you serious? You there? No. Also, she gave she gave him her second name. You should have. Br dude, come the fuck on. I get it. He's he's got a right to be angry, but not at her. Oh, she needs that group as well. This sucks. And now Mark's gone. Shit, man. We're here. Yeah, that was quick. Whoa. Where are these meteors like? <laughs> they all look the same. Exactly about this planet needs saving. Where are the meteors? Meteors? What meteors? Um, excuse me? Oh yeah. Did those Bitch, why am I here? A touch of dementia. Much quicker than you humans, you know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> because they're flies. Wait, that wasn't like the Emperor or whatever? Who is it? Hello, son. What the fuck? Huh? It's been a while. Nah, bro, what? Dad? Oh my fucking Christ. Damn, that was Invincible Season 2, Episode 3. Boy, I was not expecting to see this man so soon. And he weirdly seems different here. I don't know. The, the place seems good. They lied about it being about meteor showers, but of course he wouldn't have come to this place if he knew his dad was here. What the hell is going on? Um, good episode. Uh, I'm glad Mark, even though he was lied to, I'm glad Mark still came to this planet um, with the hopes of, you know, helping it because that's what Mark does. I'm kind of... I I really hope Alan, the Alan the alien, um, is okay. Like... I really hope he's not dead, but like for the reasons purely because he's good. He's an ally of Mark, like a super ally of Mark. Um, not as strong as the Viltrumite, but probably stronger than the heroes on Earth. Um, is he stronger than probably? Actually, he's probably not stronger than the Immortal, considering he's Immortal. But he's a better, he's a better ally than the Immortal, to be honest. Um, and he's just a funny character. You know, he's got the voice of Seth Rogen. So I really hope he's okay. Um, it's good. It's interesting to learn about this council. Um, more about them anyway. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see maybe who the traitor will be. Obviously, it definitely, I mean, it, at the moment, it seems like the head of the council. Um, I don't know why, though, what his reasoning is for is. Maybe he's kind of a Viltrumite that's kind of defected. He kind of has the same color scheme, the same look, like the same kind of human look. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Um, yeah, overall, a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. My god, I was not expecting Omniban back this soon. But we'll see. Overall, a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an nice rest of your day, and peace out.